Weekend, some of the nation's top tennis players are coming to town for the Blue Gray National Tennis Classic. And this year, a new playing facility has been added. Always an exciting tournament to host in this area. WSFA 12 News reporter Bethany Davis is live at 17 Springs in Millbrook hosting the tournament for the first time. And Bethany, it's a pretty big move to host some of these matches. This is this is huge. This is the 74th year for the Blue Gray Tennis Tournament. It's the first year that any of the matches have been played outside the city of Montgomery. Millbrook's Mayor Al Kelly is here with us. Half of the matches in this tournament are going to be played here at the brand new 17 Springs Sports Complex. What does it mean to the city it, of Millbrook? It means a great deal to the city. Uh, we put a lot of time and effort into this facility and to see it paying off like this is just tremendous. Uh, we're excited to be a part of the Blue Gray Tennis Tournament and look forward to every other year and every other event that wants to come out to Millbrook, we're going to be ready for them. Well, the facility is beautiful. It's all state of the art, brand new. Talk a little bit about how this partnership came about. Give us a little background here. This actually started about five or six years ago. It was just a bunch of guys kind of sitting around in a table up at the YMCA and deciding what we had to do. The Y had some property and uh, we decided we wanted to build a sports complex and it just grew. And uh, it went from just a few tennis courts and three pickleball courts uh, to it's going to be a bunch of baseball fields, softball fields. Uh, the partnership is between the Elmore County Board of Education, the Elmore County Commission, the City of Millbrook, the Elmore County Economic Development Authority, and, uh, and the YMCA. And it's just worked out great. You know, we have our little problems and differences sometimes, but it's worked out tremendously well. Uh, when we get phase two up and running in about a year from now, there'll be nothing like it between Birmingham and Orange Beach. You will be welcoming visitors from all over the country for this tournament. What is it you're hoping they take away from your town? I uh, hope they leave a lot of money in town. So well, we're hoping they do. <laughs> we want, our citizens are very proud of our quality of life up here. We, we uh, try to stride to make where your kids have something to do in the afternoon and, and moms and daddies can do things in peace. And, and so, you know, maybe when they leave here, they come back. We get a lot of Maxwell folks that move out here and they get transferred around the world and they end up coming back to Millbrook and we're proud to have them. They're great assets for our community and I know some of these folks that will be coming from out of town will be too. We have 16 teams that are competing here this weekend. Eight men's teams, eight women's teams. Tournament play is set to start at 9 o'clock this morning, but you may have heard the blowers that are working right now. The rain this morning, a lot of heavy rain fell over these tennis courts this morning. So we've got crews that are trying to get them dry. The hope is that they can be dry by about 7.30, 8 o'clock in time for those players to get here to warm up and not have to warm up on wet tennis courts. That's the plan this morning. We'll go over everything we need to know about the tournament and all that it has to offer this weekend. If anybody can get it done, our guys can. Yeah. I believe it there. Out. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be out there with the blower himself if they need to. He's going to get those courts ready to go. Bethany, thank you for the update. <laughs> Mayor Kelly as well. Thank you for getting out there and willing to hop in and help get those courts dry just in time. That tournament will also have a kids festival Saturday morning at Lagoon Park in Montgomery. They'll have a kids tennis clinic at 9 and a kids carnival at 10. No reservation is required. It's open to all experience levels.